A group of astronomers have discovered a strange object that emits a beam of radio waves every 18 minutes. The object is said to be a spinning neutron star and has an extremely powerful magnetic field. It was also found 4,000 light years away from Earth. Radio waves are a form of electromagnetic radiation that falls under the electromagnetic spectrum. They are usually generated artificially by transmitters and received by antennas. These radio waves are used for fixed or mobile radio communications or communication satellites. Aside from planet Earth, radio waves are emitted at specific amounts by objects in space. For example, the Sun emits radio waves of various wavelengths. Radio waves also travel at the speed of light in space. The brightest object in space. Not quite long, January, to be precise, an extremely bright object was sensed to pulse in a totally different way. It is said that this might be a mysterious neutron star. A neutron star is formed from the remnants of a collapsed star. When big stars die, their cores collapse too, melting the protons and electrons to form neutrons. The object was discovered by Dr. Natasha Hurley Walker, an astrophysicist, and her colleagues at Curtin University in Perth, Australia. The radio astronomers discovered this object using a radio telescope called the Murchison Wide Field Array. Dr. Hurley Walker said, this object was appearing and disappearing over a few hours during our observation. That was completely unexpected. It was kind of spooky for an astronomer because there's nothing known in the sky that does that. During the discovery, it was found that the radio waves appeared and disappeared continuously. The energy lasts for a minute until it goes silent over again. For more understanding, the group checked the archival data of the MWA radioscope and found more pulses, totaling 71. The object was named Gleam X J1627595.5-5235504.5. And was located around 4,000 light years away, where a huge amount of energy was being released. According to Hurley, at a press conference, she said, The brightness here is really crazy. Really, really, really extreme. We did not expect to find anything so bright. The object pulsed and brightened from 30 to 60 seconds every 18 minutes. This regular rhythm is said to not be similar to any flashing object in the past. Most flashing radio objects pulse far faster, brightening and disappearing again in some seconds. Hurley said, no one really thought of looking for objects on this time scale because we couldn't think of any mechanisms that produce them, and yet, they exist. Dr. Hurley Walker described the strange object as something smaller than the sun. She said it is bright and emits highly polarized radio waves about three times an hour. Hurley and her team of researchers suspect the object might be a magnetar, because its pulsing shows the object is likely spinning, and other measurements of its light show the object might have a strong magnetic field. Note that a magnetar is a type of neutron star, relieved to have a powerful magnetic field. Hurley Walker added, It is a type of slowly spinning neutron star that has been predicted to exist theoretically, but nobody expected to directly detect one like this because we didn't expect them to be so bright. Somehow, it's converting magnetic energy to radio waves much more effectively than anything we've ever seen. However, the team is unsure how a magnetar would rotate that slow but shine so brightly. The object Gleam X J1627595-5235504.3 was detected in 2020. However, the object has had an archival data record on the Murchison Wide Field Array radio telescope since 2018. Many researchers have taken the new object Gleam X J1627595.5-523504.3 into investigation, and they all have comments about this extremely bright object. A study by a group of Turkish astronomers, led by Ali Ardata Cinkali of Sabanchi University, Istanbul, has further explained the properties of the object. The question asked in the research are, the recent discovery of the very long period pulsar Gleam XJ1627595.5-523504.3 with spin period of 1091 seconds poses crucial questions for present theoretical models. What is the evolutionary history of this source? Is it a member of an unidentified new population following an independent evolutionary path? Or does it have an evolutionary connection with already known populations? The team has concluded that the properties of Gleam X J1627595.5-523504.3 is similar to a product of long-term evolution in the fallback disk model. It was explained that the long period of the object is achievable by a neutron star that evolves with magnetic dipole field strength at the equator and fallback disk. 
The astronomers also mention two possibilities related to the properties of the object. The first is that the disk is very active and from an assertion of about 300,000 years, which suggests that the object's period will continue to increase with a period derivative of 0.1 nanoseconds until the disk becomes inactive at 700,000 years or thereabout. The second possibility is that the disk is inactive and has no assertion, which means the period is already leveled off. The disk would continue to evolve with a period derivative of 4 attoseconds at an age greater than 700,000 years. Jonathan Katz, an astrophysicist at Washington University, St. Louis, has disseminated an analysis on Gleam X J162759.5-523504.3. He believes it is the first true white dwarf pulsar. Pulsars are highly magnetized neutron stars that emit beams of electromagnetic radiation from their magnetic poles. They are subsets of neutron stars. Jonathan Katz wrote in his yet-to-be-reviewed paper, Since the early days of pulsar astronomy, there has been speculation that a rotating magnet white dwarf might show pulsar-like activity. He added that the recently discovered periodic radio transient Gleam XJ162759.5-523504.3 is a candidate for the first true white dwarf pulsar. It has a period of 18.18 minutes, and it pulses show low frequency emission with a brightness temperature, 1016 Kelvin, implying coherent emission. It has no binary companion with which to interact. It thus meets the criteria of a classical pulsar, although its period is hundreds of times longer than any of theirs. Despite the discovered object having a strong magnetic field that spins and shines, which led it to being suspected to be a magnistar, the team of radio astronomers has ruled out any possibility of it being an alien. It has been verified and established that the emitted signals have a natural origin. According to Dr. Natasha Hurley Walker, I was worried it was aliens, but it's over a very wide range of frequencies, and that means it must be a natural process, not an artificial signal. The team is, however, still looking for more objects similar to Gleam XJ162759.5-523504.3, so that they can find out more about them and what they truly are. Gleam XJ162759.5-523504.3 is not the only object from which radio waves have been detected in recent times. In June, astronomers detected a strange radio signal about 3 billion light years from Earth, it is called FRB 2019520B. FRBs are called fast radio bursts. They are intense, brief flashes of radio frequency, and they last longer than milliseconds. The first FRB, called the Lorimer burst, was discovered as far back as 2007. FRB 2019520B was detected in 2007 by a 500 meter aperture spherical radio telescope in China. The source of its emission was later discovered to be from a dwarf galaxy, which is about 3 million light years from Earth. FRB 2019520B appears to be just one other case of a host of galaxy warping the dispersion measurement. Its host galaxy has its own competing radio source, and its dispersion measure is nearly an order of magnitude higher than other galaxies which host FRBs. Unlike the Lorimer burst, FRB 2019520b is said to have unique properties that inhabit a different cosmic environment. Do you think astronomers will be able to receive a different signal in the future? Also, share with us in the comments section what space discoveries you're looking forward to know.